Hey, how's it going guys? This is Russ with Joe's Gaming and Electronics here with another highly requested video. Today we'll be showing you guys how to repair the main board on a Fitbit Versa 3 and a Fitbit Sense. So let's begin. Got the Fitbit, it's working perfectly fine. And you just notice that the battery life isn't lasting very long. Uh, there could be other issues that why the battery is not lasting long, but in this case, we're gonna be replacing the battery. So let's begin. Begin by applying some heat around the edges. Set about to 200 degrees Celsius. We're just gonna be heating it up here. And make sure you're, you don't heat too much because then you can ruin the screen if you're trying to still preserve the screen, which in this case we want to because we're just replacing the battery. I usually like to go to the, the side opposite of the button and you can fit your tool in there. And if you have it heated up already a good amount, it should go in without a problem. And you should just work your way around. Don't go too deep inside because then you'll end up ruining the LCD. It is a little bit harder and then once you do feel that it's, it's a little bit harder to, to pull through, you just add some more heat. That should loosen up the glue a little bit. Which can we used our own glue on this one, but it's still pretty strong so I suggest to go around it twice. And I like to stop where the button's at, and then I like to just pry up. Pry up like so. Right in this case, looks good. Not much cleanup because we already, we just used our own glue, and our own glue is a very we applied a very thin layer, so not much cleanup is necessary for this for this process, but if you have the original tape, then you would need to remove remove the tape because it's a lot thicker. All right. So let's continue, get our T2 screwdriver, and we're gonna unscrew the two screws on top just to remove the screen so it's a lot easier to work on. Make sure the screw driver is magnetized. I got a magnetizer in front of me. Just make sure that that the screw sticks onto it and it doesn't fall down so you don't lose it. And just remove the shield. So be reusing that screen there. I like to just remove all the screws. There's gonna be two more screws. All right, now we're gonna remove these ribbons here. So that's gonna be the heart rate ribbon, charging ribbon. This one's gonna be the battery ribbon. This one's gonna be the speaker vibration ribbon. So we'll remove those both, set the housing aside we got the board and battery together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath and pry the battery up. Because if you don't, if you pry the battery the other way, then you'll end up ripping the, ripping the ribbon that connects to the board. So in this case, we're gonna be replacing the main board. So we're gonna grab our replacement main, main board. And what I like to do first is I like to look look towards the HR ribbon 
and then that to the left of it that's where this the ribbon goes so it's pretty much upside down so then it so then it just goes into there and then the the board the board will go the go the same way the opposite way so then we just clip in all the ribbons make sure you actually find the clipping point because then you can actually damage the connector with clipping it the wrong way so in this case they're all in and in order to secure the main board I like to add the screws let's just go ahead and add one screw first and then we're gonna place the LCD in there I like to hook up the battery at the last step, which right now is the last step. Hook up the battery, and then I'm gonna apply the shield. Make sure this crease goes, there's gonna be an opening, make sure it goes in there. Take the screws, start putting all the screws in. You don't need to tighten it too much, just hand tight because you don't want to strip because all these screws are necessary. Okay, we're going to check before we do anything, we're going to check if it's working properly. It is awesome. So what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna apply some glue. Not a super thick layer. here and then we're gonna let it here for about a day and then once it's cured you can use the watch you can take it off and it'll be ready to go and that is how you replace the main board on a Fitbit Versa 3 and Fitbit Sense thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next one